Daily Race C is happening at the Nürburgring GP layout circuit this week. We're driving Group 4 cars and the race has a hard tire mandatory requirement and is actually quicker if you don't go for pit stop. That race is all about fuel saving but of course the time trial isn't and in the time trial you can also use the medium tire which is obviously the quicker tire of the two. And for this video I'm taking a little bit of a different approach. I'm gonna review my own qualifying lap to point out braking points, turn-in points and suggested gears and also give a few tips here and there to make you uh, or at least try to give you the best opportunity to set a good lap time yourself. And obviously I'm not the quickest driver out there but I still think I can give good reference points uh, as it yeah when it comes to setting your own good lap time so let's just dive straight into my own lap firstly I'm gonna put on all the details rewind it back to the start of the lap and use my in-game camera which is the rooftop camera view the first tip I want to give you is Take a wide entry at the start of the lap. Uh, the, li the, the final corner you want to take a really wide entry because that way you can rotate the car, point the nose to the corner exit and c carry all that speed onto this main straight. And that will obviously give you a little bit of extra edge when starting off the lap. So I'm starting off the lap. We're heading down to turn one and the braking point is just before the 100 board. And you want to downshift in a smooth way to not stop or force the car to stop too quickly because that will lose you some time. Stay close to this curb and let the car rotate outwards. Again, for this corner you want to stay close to the curb and take a really wide entry into this corner and that way you will also carry extra speed onto this little straight braking at the section where the track splits off into the short circuit again for this corner rotation is the key element here you want to rotate and point the nose towards the straight because you want to carry more speed Braking at the start of the grey tarmac on the left, or the, the little grey curb. Smooth on the power. If you get a good exit at the, the, the last corner, you carry all that speed into this section. Starting at, uh, or braking at the beginning of the tarmac, before the 100 boards wide angle into this corner because then again you can carry all that speed into this back straight going into the final section we're gonna break at the 100 board and try to hit this pole in the chicane dead on as mentioned, before you start your qualifying lap, you want to take a wide entry, but after finishing the lap or at finishing your lap, you just want to take the normal racing line into that corner. In this case, my lap was good enough for a 204, but if we go into more detail, let me just go to the rear view camera, or the chase camera view, I should say. We'll run through the lap again. As mentioned, you want to start braking just before the 100 boards or at the end of the tarmac on the left. So it's at this point where you want to start braking. If I go forward in steps, you'll see that I start braking just after the end of the tarmac or in between the 100 board and the end of the tarmac.
you want to stay close to the curb but not too close because if you take a really tight radius into the this first corner if the radius at this point is too tight so if you're too close to this point the car will come or will become unstable so you want to be at a tight angle but not too tight and then you want to go to the outside so you can swing the car in to this corner and let the, ro the car rotate outwards and again at this corner you're taking a wide entry so you can really make the radius as tight as possible and stick to this line because that's important for the entry of the next corner which is this, this one so you want to be as wide as possible at this point so you open up this corner and there is runoff area at the exit of the corner which you can use so that's all fine so this is the runoff area And again, we're starting to break at yeah, the part where the track splits into the normal GP layout and the short circuit. So we're just starting to give in brake input at this point. Again, a wide entry is important. Go to the left for a wide entry again. As mentioned, you want to rotate the car as quickly as possible because there's a little straight after this corner. By downshifting and having a tight angle, you open up the corner. That way you carry more momentum for this section. Going into the hairpin, you want to start braking just about here. So if we step go forward in steps you're gonna see I start braking at this point brake lights are on again a wide entry is key so we're going into the hairpin in a wide way and tightening up the radius at the apex because at that yeah in this way you'll rotate the car in such a manner that you carry more speed at corner exit Probably my line was suboptimal because you hear the throttle input is like going into uh, not in a continuous way, but I still managed to keep some momentum going. And that's important because the following section is all full power. As you can see, I'm not lifting, so it's all full power. And then we start braking at the end of the tarmac again, or I should say at the beginning. Um, you can probably build it up to, towards the end of the tarmac, but I wasn't confident enough to do so. So I started braking at the beginning of this, uh, this tarmac, but you can probably build it up more. Um, yeah, it, it's probably sounding a bit repetitive, but again, you want to take a wide angle. So you can hit this, ca uh, this uh, apex dead on. Rotation is the key element for a lap around the Nürburgring. That's also the case for this corner. Because if you point your nose towards the corner exit and keep your eye and vision focused on this corner exit, um, th yeah, that's just the way to maintain speed and carry momentum. And this can actually be the difference between having a really good lap or just an okay lap. Um, because you can actually like gain three or four tenths that way. As mentioned, you wanna hit the chicane pole, the second part of the chicane, the pole dead on. And I'm just going back for a little bit. Uh, yes, to this part because I want to point out the braking point. And that's, yeah, my personal reference is this uh, steward's house or these stewards on the left. If they go out of my screen, 
that's my indicator to start braking, as you'll start to see here. But yeah, you can try and find your own uh, brake reference, but that's mine. And as mentioned before, you want to have a tight angle for the normal racing line, I should say, for the final corner. So turn into the apex and let the car roll towards the exit of the corner. And as mentioned before, I'm not the quickest driver out there, but I think this yeah, lap review is probably yeah, uh, valuable for you to get in good lap time. And let me know in the comments down below if you, sh you, you wanna see more of these lap reviews. And um, yeah, that's it for now. And I wanna wish you good luck setting in those uh, good lap times this week at the Nürburgring GP. And I'll catch you in the next video. Bye.